All right, everybody, you all want to see some classic cars that are for sale. That's my understanding. So through my travels, that's what we're going to check out. Let's get, get some classic cars on film with prices and hopefully something will meet your budget so you can get the dream car that you've been wanting. But I'm here today in Charlotte. This is Streetside Classics. There's also another video I'll put a link on for the location in Florida. But this is the big one. This is the big headquarters. So let's see what they've got in their inventory. Exactly. Wow. The buzzer burn. We've got a couple of them in here. This is a this is a unique car. This is an eco bird. So this is this car is hundred five thousand dollars. But it's got the dual quads on it. Okay, you said it was an eco. Eco. So they're different. Ford used a lettering system on the uh, baby birds, as I like to call it, fifty-five and seven birds. Uh, this is an eco, eco, so it's one of their high performance models. Uh, we do have a supercharged F code in here as well, and that was cream of the crop, and this was the step down. And what made it so high performance? It's the motor. It's the motor. The motor and the induction and and, uh, and such. And the quality of this car is excellent. Wow. So this is listed at the moment for one hundred and five thousand. One hundred four nine ninety five. Mm -hmm. Well, now I have to ask you, can these prices be negotiated? There's some wiggle room and everything. There's some wiggle room for everything. That's what we wanted to hear, you know. It's not everything is cut for it, so. We want to put people in a car if they're happy. Yeah. A car like this, I was just buying a car, right? You're the next curator of it. So the guy that had it, right, he wants to make sure it goes to a good home. You know, there's, a, there's such a passion in it. Yeah. I always say it's the people, it's not the cars. Right, that bring people together. People want to know that you know their baby, their bright joy is going to go. To of course, because they've spent so much time and effort. It's got such sentimental value as well. Absolutely. But this they can't keep mom's, everything. This is my mom's favorite car. Every time I see you know a tripod bird, she's you know I think I think of my mom. There you go. Now let's talk a little bit about consignment. Mm -hmm. So how does that work to refresh our minds about? So the consignment process is an easy way to move your car and not deal with uh, putting it on all the different ad sites, dealing with scammers. That's a big thing now. Wire fraud. Yes. I mean, they even try and get us. Right. So we remove all that hassle and headache from them. We give people a net number for their car, mm -hmm. which we call a net to owner. Yeah. And that's the goal, the target that we're going to get uh, you for your automobile when it sells. We then mark it up to cover uh, haggle room, our commissions, negotiating room, and all that. Uh, the leads come in, it gets assigned to a salesman. They'll work with you if we get a close and reasonable offer to get the car sold. The move, 90 day contract, no upfront fees. No upfront no fees. No upfront fees. We so do not charge fees for anything. We have a feature program, which is a premium program that uh, doubles down on the marketing yeah. uh, and some of the logistics of the car. There's a fee for that. Yes. But the, our basic program, no charge ever. So if you've got a car that you've had at home for such a long time and you've been wanting to sell it, instead of leaving it at home in the garage, why not just leave it here for three months? Right, exactly. is, that, is that what I'm understanding? Is well, no we, don't want to, we don't want to be free storage. No, no, sorry. Right, but no, yeah. excuse me. Uh, definitely not free storage. Right. But... People want to sell their cars, but then they're also afraid to go out there, right. list it. And do you want somebody to come into your house? So you're you're, exactly. you're you're traveling, your spouse is home, you want to leave them to deal yeah. with that. Or you're at work and they only can come on a Monday or ruin your Sunday exactly. afternoon. That's why but we're here. My point in that is that there is absolutely no fee. No fees, none People whatsoever. can list it here and you give them the net price. You both agree to a net price Right. that this is what you're going to hope to get. Yep. That is pretty cool. Yeah. It's, it, I mean, it's a really good business model. Absolutely. Definitely not a storage facility. And you I don't want to say that. Right. And you couldn't market the car. We pushed the car out to dozens and dozens of websites. Yes. And if you tried to do that for thirty, forty, fifty, hundred dollars a clip, you could easily spend a couple thousand dollars just to sell your car. Absolutely. And if your car doesn't sell, that whole expense is on us. Wow. And it's not just that. You guys are such a big showroom, so many different locations. And then you've got that website feature where you right. know that people out there who've been looking for that particular car that this person is selling, they would immediately get notified. That's Not to mention you've got a YouTube channel as well. Right, that exactly. You're featuring for those featured premium option as well. So there's so many ways that you are promoting the car. At, absolutely. And it's out on social media. People look for us 
you know, we're at events, we're integrated into the hobby. It's a very well night night. We hold car club meets here. Yeah. It's, that's who Streetside is. That's why we're the number one, you know, well, classic you guys, car dealer in the country. Well, you guys are also sponsoring Run for the Sun. Yes. Which is yep. coming about yep, soon. Absolutely, you know? I'll be there. Myrtle Beach, that's happening mm -hmm. soon, so... Mm -hmm. But definitely a very well-known name. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, That's a great event. That's part of the fun part about my job is I get to go to all the events. <laughs> Shh, don't tell my boss. <laughs> I won't. It is so fun. You guys do have the best jobs. Yes. This is a cool little, cool little custom piece. Now, you never would have been able to get a crew cab pickup in a Model A. No, I was just going to say, what's going on here? Because it's got the running boards. Right. And then someone has created that piece. Right. This extra piece, which gives you a ton of legroom. Yeah. Wow. So it's a 32 Ford Model A pickup, 58995. And you got a ton more legroom. It just makes it far more comfortable to. Drive your run to the sun or wherever you're off, off here. The power to... And it's got a great look. Another it really iconic, does. timeless car. Absolutely. My favorite thing is always the big fenders up here at the front. Mm -hmm. this but this has been very custom. Yep. It's, yep. it's been lowered. Yeah. It's on a custom chassis. And the top has been chopped as well. Mm -hmm. A couple of inches at the front here, giving it that real nice slant. Look, wow! Yeah, not a not a bad price. This is a lot less than what the person would have paid for to get it in the oh, price. Oh, Can no, we just gosh, put it, yeah. put it out there? Yeah, yeah. Like you said, buy it done. Right. Time is precious. Mm -hmm. Time is money. Mm -hmm. And you know, if I get so tempted looking at this, of course, my journey is very different. I'm learning, and I want to learn the mechanics and see what's involved. Right. And then you'll consign it with street sign. So my truck. I'm so in love with it and I haven't even built it yet. <laughs> He's trying to get a deal. You never know. I know why. <laughs> Look at the deal we've got going on here now. <laughs> oh, so, no. It's super fun. Studebaker champion. You don't see these very often. No. And this no is a concourse level restoration. This car is amazing. Well done. Concourse level restoration. For $25,000. For $25,000. 52 Studebaker champion. Now, everybody has such different tastes. Everybody has such different connections to these classic cars. For some, it may, mean, may not mean anything at all, but someone could be sitting at home saying, you know what, I've been looking for the car that was my first car, or the car that I saw on TV and I wanted to get. <laughs> and this could be it right here. Right. And what a sweet price as well. And it just, uh, well, even in the Muppet movies, they drove a different model, but they drove a Studebaker in they the did. Muppet movie. They did. <laughs> the Chrysler Newport and the Plymouth Fury convertible next to it. Chrysler so, Newport and a Plymouth Fury. Okay. Some luxury land yachts. And these were very big cars. Very, very big cars. But again, for $12,995, a cool entry point to get into a hobby. 12000 for the Chrysler. And what about the Plymouth the, Fury? The drop, drop, the, the Fury is 17.9. 9 White, red, power top. I gotta say, when if somebody was to restore this and get it done, it would look so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would drive either of these as is to the local cruise. As is, okay. I, I see this and I'll be like, you know what? I would love to see this get all done up. <laughs> And that's a really good starting price. They're fun. They're fun cars. That oh, it's a whole thing that's kind of come onto the hobby. I grew up with those cars. When I was a little kid, that's what I was riding around in my grandma car. And, wow. And you know, now you can go. You could recreate that memory with your own kids or grandkids for that matter. A Ford Tudor. Mm -hmm. Yep, a Tudor. The thirty-eight Ford Tudor. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this. So I actually had one. Did one you have price. one? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. And I always love these little cool features. Like this is right. This is the hood lamp. You, just, you would let's get it down in there. You would turn it. It's a locket. I've seen so many of these, and I never knew about that mechanism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, mean, 
I mean, it, it's so cool because you know, you, with the, even with the modern day cars, if some of them you have to still put your hand underneath, yeah. and I, exactly. which I hate, I absolutely hate. That is so cool. Yeah, there's a lot of little fun stuff like that, little eye candy. What do they call them in modern cars? Easter eggs. Easter, yeah, Easter eggs, exactly. I had no idea. But what's the price for this? So this one is uh, $24,000, $23,995. Very you know, simple stock as it would have come back in the day. I mean, the street rod nationals to the frog follies. Back to the 50s, there's just so many shows that we see these cars and people who've been watching the channel and they see it and they're like, you know, I wish I was going to the show. Like, right. what a great starting point right. to get certain, something yeah, of your own. We get a lot of foot traffic. People just come in over the holidays and just ready to do a car show. Yeah. So. That's it, because you are an indoor car show. <laughs> and we, we should encourage people. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Come by. We're, yeah, we're open Tuesday through Saturdays. Come in and visit. It's fun. Tuesdays to Saturdays, the showroom is open. They don't need to make any appointments. They nope. can just walk in and have a right. look through here. Right, exactly. We right. just ask that you you know you don't touch. Yeah, and if course. you need help, grab a salesman. Because we don't own them. Yes. You know, they're, they're consignment vehicles for the for the most part. Yeah. So kind of treat them with respect. But, you know, so the owner you know, has peace of mind. Absolutely. And I love the fact that almost every car here, every car has got a sticker on it with the price. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So you can just walk, take your own time. Right. And just compare and see what mm -hmm. you're looking for. Right. It's required by law. Oh, we said. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm learning about American law every day. Okay. There you go. So if you are selling it, especially if you're a big consignment. Such if, as, if you're a yeah. dealer, an independent or a franchise dealer, you have to have a window sticker on your car. There you go. Okay. It's the law. <laughs> Another Studebaker. This one looks a lot more clean finished. Oh, this style. is, this yeah, is this very, very sleek bodies. A president. A president. Wow. Beautiful paint job. Wow, look at the interiors, everybody. Isn't that crazy wild? Wow. Wild, yet still very tasteful. In theory, when you talk about those colors combined with the teal here, the two-tone greens, but it works, but it works. I know, gold, vinyl, gold? cloth, tweets. <laughs> but it works because then it's got these subtle touches. Studebaker president, how, how much is this? This car is, huh, caught me off guard a little bit there. This car I'm only is, asking you to memorize everything uh, in here. This is 42995. 42995. But this would have been their premium sports, you know, luxury car. Because they started to get more slant in here at the front. Yeah, yeah versus the, the champion. Yeah. Neat cars. And what's the engine underneath these? These had small V8s in them. Small V8s. I think this was a, a uh, 289, maybe 259. Mm -hmm. Another beautiful restored straight rod. This is a Chevy Coupe. A little less popular than the, the Fords of the same era. A little different look with the headlights up on the red cowl versus on the fenders. Yeah. 43 995. Custom interiors. I mean, there's a radio there as well. I see a USB port, but do you think there'll be Bluetooth connectivity as well? Uh, in a lot of the retro sound stuff, there, there, there is. That likely has it, given the era of it. Yeah. It's been done very well. So much to see. You know, oh, wow, a Roadrunner. Okay, let's check out the Roadrunner, and then I want to check out a couple yeah, of cars the up there. We've got more Mopars here. But this is beautiful. Why Not one, but two. <laughs> and yes, my babysitter had one of these brand new when I was a tyke. Wow. <laughs> so, very cool car. 446 back. One of the, what they call the impact colors. Yep. Very popular. And they still are, which is why that price is a little bit on the higher side. 89995 but you are looking at a Roadrunner. I mean, look at this. The engine 446 back V8. This car is built wow. to a very high standard. The 
Jeff, who put it together, is just a perfectionist. There's a bit more details there on the inside. And let's have a look at the interior. Yeah, absolutely. One of those big muscle cars that just shows its presence no matter where it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's an RT. It's Dozen, the Dodge Challenger. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's 74. I do love the Chargers and Challenges. Now this is 47995. Okay. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. And of course, contact Streetside for more cars like this. I'm doing the best that I can to show you guys a variety of what they've got to offer here. Brian doesn't have all night. We're not going to be able to be here and have a look at everything. But um, hopefully as I'm walking by, something catches your eye, then we could call him and say, you know what, go back to Rana's Radar and have a look at the video. Stop wherever where you were walking. <laughs> pause the pause. video, hit pause and tell me about this car. I'm just making a lot of work for this man. It's okay. <laughs> okay, tell me about this. Oh, this is killer. This is a Challenger Resto mod. Uh, it, a super duper nice build. It's got, you know, modern racing buckets in it, slick paint. It's it's a really, really beautiful. Uh, and, it's you know, very different. It, it should be. It's a hundred and thirteen thousand dollars. 113,000, six-speed manual, and it's got independent front suspension, of course. Mm -hmm. I can't say, but celebrity owner. Celebrity owner as well. It's got the row cage, racing style seats, pistol grip shifter in true Mopar style. This is beautiful. I'm loving the paint. Let me just put it out there. And an affordable Mopar, $32,000. A Barracuda. A Barracuda. And this is how much our employees believe in us. This is an employee vehicle. It brings his own car here to sell. It's one of our sales guys' cars. There you go. We, we do that all the time. A lot of us bring our cars in here and sell them. Because you know it's going to be, it's going to happen the right way. Right. We, we don't want to deal with the personal hassle, but I'll be... <laughs> Because it is a hassle in today's day and age, like you said, with all the scammers. To sell a car yourself nowadays is a lot more work than it used to be in ad in the newspaper. Plymouth Barracuda, everybody, 69, 31.95. It's... This could be someone's car they've been looking for, their high school car. And it, it's nice to look at. I like it. I love, I'm, love I'm liking it. Super simple road beautiful and then the wagon is now you know the wagons are getting popular as well i think it's... absolutely and these can be priced anywhere depending on what people are putting modern hemi hellcat motors oh yes there. they are so and they're they're just so so cool. my high school girlfriend had one hey margaret the uh <laughs> i should say her dad had one. so but uh and i've got Three of them, and it's a, you know, a Cherokee. It's uh, the base brother to it all, too. Grand Wagonese, you know, as I'm walking, the first one, 47995. Again, 47995. This is 1989 Jeep, the Grand Wrangler, and the Grand Wagonese, sorry. 86. Now, this is 52995. This, this is a little fre fresher restoration, and it comes with all the picnic equipment. <laughs> love it <laughs> you guys didn't say no you said all right we'll sell it with it but why not it matches the interiors and this is really neat with the cocoa floor mats which is really kind of a period thing it's making a bit of a uh -huh. comeback always has a cozy feel to it uh -huh. it's always a cozy feel you know you've got the racks at the top there as well a modern classic that you could you know family road trip it on now Okay. I know we like Buicks as well, everybody. So let's have Grand a look. Sport. 
and a grand sport nonetheless. Mm -hmm. And a gray color. Personally, I love these wild 70s colors. Well, they really stand out, don't they? Mm -hmm. Buick Grand Sport. 31995, an affordable alternative to a Chevelle. Wow. Like the Chevelles in the marketplace are just so desirable. I think that that's sort of the price value relationship. You that's get, how it works, doesn't it? Yeah, you can get you a Buick. A sim I mean, they're essentially, people will debate me on this, they're a very, very similar car. You can get a very similar driving experience. You're not going to see another Buick really parked next to you that very often, unless you go to a Buick shop. No, oh, well, Buick won the Riddler this um, past that's year, true. didn't it? So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I love the look of it. Mm -hmm. It's got such a mean, strong look. Yeah, yeah really it's still beautiful. purposeful cars, yeah. Absolutely. And we do have the Chevelle Super Sports. Yes. Um, yeah. and iconic this is, colors. And this one's a resto mod. It's got a 502 in it. Okay. So, it's more power. What's, what did Mark Donahue used to say? You don't have no horsepower until you're getting wheel spin and top gear. <laughs> 1970. Resto mod. Now, this is listed for 86995 and it, it, it's a high price, but at the same time, that is what you should be expecting to pay for a Resto Mod Chevelle Super Sport. Right. It's a manual. And it's a manual. Yeah. Check this out. It's got a big engine in it as well. It's got five speed in it. Hearst shifter. Chevelles are always on the little bit more, but it is a Chevelle, everybody, so. Absolute. Absolute. Let's see on a similar price point. So, uh, this one's 62995 So, for 20000 less, right. you've got a 71 Chevelle Super Sport and a right. 540 Resto Mod. And a good color. I mean, Still a very nice color. Wow, all right. Let's keep things moving. Ah, hello. That's 60. From 1916 problem. And the interior on this, I mean, it just, that dash is such a great dash. This is 64.9. 64.9. Check out the interiors here, everybody. Wow. It's beautiful. It's a very cool If you're looking for a classic car, it'd be so nice to be you right now, having a look at all of these. Right. <laughs> you're busy trying to decide. <laughs> oh, it's overwhelming. It's very overwhelming. It's very overwhelming. But I love the fact that it's, they're all just lined up here, from the muscles to the Corvette to the trucks, then you've got the bugs in the back. It's, um, it's like, okay, if you're looking for Corvette, just stay in this lane. Yeah, absolutely. Otherwise, then you won't get... You know, right. things won't get done. <laughs> and there's a whole other room. I noticed when we were in that corner, there's a whole other showroom. We're not going to go there. Right. We're because not. if we go there, with this, we'll stay on and... Um, I'll miss my dinner date. And I'll you will miss trouble. your dinner date. This is the era that I'm... Okay. 74, 75, right, whenever you want to call it, the Thunder Chicken or the Screaming Chicken first came out. This is just, to me, just a cool, cool... The bandits, all that, over the top. Yes. <laughs> that's what everybody thinks of when they think of Trans Am. Absolutely. <laughs> Smoking the bandits. Yeah. But the Trans Am, as soon as you see it, is so iconic, you know exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. It's a statement car for sure. It's a statement car. 74 Pontiac, 52995. Here is the sticker for you guys at home. You can always pause your TV or computer to have a look at it more in detail if I'm moving too fast for some of you, but... Or call us. Oh, call Ryan. <laughs> okay, where is the tri fives? Right over here. Tri fives are so popular, don't have too many in stock. So if you want to sell one, bring one. Baby. There you go. If you've got a tri five sitting at home, then bring, bring it over. Right. So these are the only three tri fives I have at the Charlotte show. We obviously have more uh, around. Okay. Uh, in the different showrooms, but uh, 
different kinds of builds. Let's start off here at the orange. Now this, this is a 210. Right, a 210, and it is a Crow Street build. This one is 71995. Uh, a lot of effort went into the sheet metal on this car, a lot of work into this car. It's got a half page in it. It's a manual. It's a 1955 210, and it's been absolutely done. Half a row cage, because what engine is under that hood? Pardon? What engine is under that hood? Sorry for the air compressor. Oh, the horsepower and the, yes. uh, and the motor. I'm not sure of the horsepower uh, and the motor on this one. This is, you know, this is a 350 car. So, but they went for that old pro street look. Yes. Love the color. Now, this is listed for 71995. Tri fives are absolutely timeless, everybody. Especially the 55. The 55 is a very, very popular year. As is the Bel Air, is it full? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And a 57, of course. And this is kind of a typical build, These both of these 57s. So, this is a two door hard top? Mm -hmm. This is a two door hard top. And, no and the other one's a post. And this one is a post. Okay, right. let's have a look at the two door hard top first. Beautiful black, 1957. Here is the sticker for you guys. And it's listed at 44995. Bench seat. Again, 350, four speed manual, very common build. Well, wow. one of my favorite shows, everybody, is the Tri Five Nationals. Because I get to go there and just have a look at all these beautiful Bel Airs, the 210s, the 150s. And one thing that I love about that is everybody drives their Tri Fives. They drive it and they drive cross country or they come from Canada in it. They do, they drive everywhere. They drive everywhere because whether it's restored or not, or whether if it's an absolute patina, these are just timeless. They scream classic. You all know my favorite, 57 Belly. It would have to be a convertible to say, okay, Brian. <laughs> <Where'd I have one? laughs> wow, this is, um, Again, check out the sticker price, everybody, because everybody drives them and they come in their groups, they come mm -hmm. in their car clubs. Absolutely. It's cool. I have taken a 57 Chevy hood. This old rusty junk light. I cut it off right here. It hands in my man cave, but my TV is over it. So oh, that's awesome. Shop. Yeah. Oh, that's it's awesome. Fun. Everybody has some 57 Chev story. That is so cool. But, you know, the, I love the crew, the 57 crew, you know, the, some of the, one of the first friends that I made in the car world were at the Tri-5 Roundup. You lot, you know who you, you are. And it's always a fun bunch. And I love the fact they're always traveling around with their friends mm -hmm. in their car clubs, like I mentioned, and they're all driving it. Yeah. So when you, when you see it like this, it's just, it just reminds me of the car shows, everybody. Very cool. Brian, this is so much fun. Well, thank you for coming. I appreciate you. I'm glad I stopped by. And, you know, like I said, I was here in Charlotte visiting Detroit, Spain. I said, I have to come over here, check out the inventory, give the viewers at home another place to compare prices um, and also something else for you to check out. Streetsideclassics.com is yep. the website. Yep. We're right here in Charlotte over by the Motor Speedway. Now, you've got other locations as well. Mm -hmm. Please remind us. So we have uh, showrooms here in Charlotte, Nashville, Tampa. Dallas, uh, Phoenix. There you go. Hope you found what you were looking for. And if not, I just hope you've enjoyed watching this and seeing all the different classics that are for sale. And hopefully you'll get what you're looking for. But thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.